Class three contest for race number seven. And we've got class threes and a class two to finish the program. That's race number 10. This is 1,400 metres the trip here. Assimilates heads them. Jimmy Ting and Chad Schofield from Barry 7. Got home quite strongly last time behind Solar YY. Follow me. First up since February. He's a two-time course and distance winner. Superwise is a course and distance winner. Two starts back. Everyone's joy up in class. Two from two over the 1,200 metres. Gets up to 14 for the first time. Beauty Energy, a last start winner as well. Goes back up in class. And uh, Kiram's two wins to date have both been at Happy Valley. And they've both been over the 1650. As far as Chung Fra is concerned, follow me. Happy win win and amazing luck. I spent some time at Chung Fra. It's um, certainly seemed to help him last time out. Good run behind perfect match, finishing third. Good to slow the uh, prediction here with the uh, super wise. He'll roll along in front from Man for Man and uh, also uh, Alfred Chan, who's uh, claiming the, the 10 pounds. I think he'll be a tough one to get uh, to the front. He should be able to kick along. Um, you've got everyone's joy there who's drawn out in gate number eight. He should have enough uh, speed to come across and uh, get across the rest of the field here with Follow Me holding gate number four. He can sit nice and handy. Uh, here's Assimilate, the, the toppy here. Um, Jimmy Ting, Chad Schofield will team up. Uh, he's 160 there, the one closest to us. He goes nicely. He's, he's definitely got the best over a stable, mate. So it's a, a nice gallop from Assimilate. He seems to have come on from his last start. He's only had the four runs here as well. Superwise has been going well since he changed stables. He's now a Manfred man, and his last three runs have been really good. A third, a first, and a fourth. Uh, and a good fourth behind perfect match as well. So no problems with him. He goes nicely, as you can see. Only a little sort of nuggety horse. And amazing luck. I thought it was a really good run from him at a massive price last time. And he didn't get all the favours as well. So if he can reproduce that... I think he can go nice as well, and his track work suggests he can. Mm. Mm. All right, well, we can start there in actual fact with Amazing Luck. Super Wise is in this race as well. Uh, amazing Luck, he put in a really good trial up at Chungfa uh, probably about a month or so ago, and it looks like he's finally putting it all together on the track as well. Yeah, that trial was uh, good from uh, Amazing Luck up at uh, Chungfa, and uh, you can just see here, he looks a little bit one pace at this point, but uh, really rallied uh, late in search into with third placing. Super Wise, he started to uh, yield ground from about the, the 250 metres. You've got Winston's lad in this race as well, he's uh, further back, but uh, just keep an eye on Amazing Luck uh, there. That last uh, sort of 100 metres right here really starts to uh, dig in deep. Yes, I found a spot for him and Superwise because I think that's a really strong form race and we'll see Perfect Match come up in the, in the last race and yeah. he's, he's a good chance there, I thought. Yeah, in a better race as yeah. well. All right, so three of them ticked off there. What about everyone's joy? Unbeaten in two starts so far. Let's hear from jockey, Zach Pert. Zach, everyone's joy, two from two. What are your thoughts heading into the weekend with him? Well, he's done a good job so far. Um, you know, he hasn't really got a turn of foot. He's a little bit one-paced. He's been lucky. He's drawn two good gates and... He's just had races run to suit. He's been able to get the job done, but that's all that they have to do. I think the step up in distance is going to be a, uh, an asset for him, and you know he's, he's got enough speed to take a nice handy position and just keep plugging away. Could he be closer in the run, given on paper, apart from Superwise, there doesn't look to be a heap of speed on in the race? Yeah, he could be. He's been handy enough over 1,200, so the step up to 1,400 would suggest he could um, lay up. How much more progression and improvement do you think he has? Well, he's been a little bit unassuming because he hasn't got that turn of foot and he just keeps grinding away. He obviously doesn't give you a, a great feel. We, we thought he'd be a, a nice chance in a Class 4 race. Um, but he was able to go and get the job done two times now. And, you know, uh, sometimes horses like him just continue to keep raising the bar as, as they go along. and you know, He's going to need to keep doing that, but... Um, you know, he's, he's a bit of a quiet achiever. All right, so everyone's joy still on the upgrade. And, yeah, two from two so far. We'll keep moving, though, and check on the other chances, including Beauty Energy, who was a winner last time out over the 1,400 metres. Goes up in class as a result. I was waiting for him to get back up to a mile, so he caught me napping here, but uh, got the job done nicely. Yeah, he beat Sonic Fighter on this uh, occasion. And, look, he, he hit the line very strongly. Uh, there was that um, bit of give in the track this day, wasn't mm. there, as well? You can see that coming down the middle. Uh, see if he can produce it up in Class 3. I didn't find a spot for him. I think this is quite a strong Class 3 race, but he, you know, he won well enough. He dealt to them in the end. The yeah. winning margin was two and a quarter. He has barrier trialled uh, well enough recently since, so uh, not without a chance. OK, one more to take a check on here, and that is Follow Me, who's been up at um, Chungfa. Certainly spent some time at that since the last time we saw him on the track behind Cordyceps back in February. 
Yeah, this is a, a three-horse uh, trial. You've got to rivet there on the outside and the uh, the blue cap who goes around later in the uh, program. But uh, he looked to be under a good hold here, I thought, uh, from the uh, the track rider. Uh, seemed to be tanking along. Last start, he got caught wide. That was in the race that was won by Cordy Sips. Probably not too much you can take out of a, a three-horse trial, but just like the way he did it under a, a tight rein there. Yeah, and his work has been good just on the on a daily basis up there as well. I like the fact he's coming back to 1,400. His wins have been over this distance from a low draw. I'm going to stick with him. I think he's uh, he's ready to win again. All right. He's actually favoured at this stage as well, ahead of everyone's joy, and you've gone that way as well. Yeah, I have. I've, I've, I've gone with uh, follow me on top. I'd, yeah, I just like his work, and uh, I think 1,400 metres looks absolutely ideal for him. I'm going to put amazing luck in there for a second. It would be a double-figure price, but he's... Uh, I don't think it was a fluke last time. His track works always suggest that he's quite a nice horse and he's now putting it together on race day. Everyone's joy is unbeaten, but he's got, got to find it a bit tricky from Baron number eight. And Superwise has been running really well for the new trainer. Two, eight, seven and three. I'll go QQPs. On top for me as well is uh, follow me off the back of that uh, trial there at uh, Chung Fa. Back to uh, 1,400 metres really suits. I think he's going to be tough to beat. Assimilate uh, here at a price. Uh, he's uh, run home OK in his last a couple. Hasn't actually been beaten too far in his runs here in Hong Kong. Everyone's joy is some of the, the situation up perfectly last start. Just let all that speed in front of him go. Got into a nice spot and won. And amazing luck uh, who uh, rallied late in the piece. So 2, 1, 7 and 8. All right. See, I've got 2, 1 and 7 in there. But I'm going to stick with everyone's joy. I think winning form is good form, so I've got him for the hat-trick there in race number seven.